Well, hello and welcome to Doc Onco's Physics. Keith Onco here. What we want to do today is take a look at another one of Newton's Laws problems. And what we've got here is a, a 40 kilogram box that is sitting on a floor and it's dragged across a frictionless floor or surface by a rope. And that rope is uh, denoted by that right there. So there's our rope. The tension in the rope is 65 Newtons. So it's being dragged along by a 65 Newton force, but it's pulled at an angle of 42 degrees. Okay, so it's not a purely horizontal force. It's also not a purely vertical force. It's at some angle. We want to figure out what the acceleration of the box is going to be. So this is 40 kilograms, and we would like to know the horizontal acceleration of the box. Okay, so we should make sure that we were clear on that. Not a vertical acceleration, but a horizontal acceleration. Well, if I want to know the horizontal acceleration, I'm going to need to know all the horizontal forces. Well, there's no force due to gra I'm sorry, there's no force um, due to friction on the table. All right, so we don't have that. So really, what we have is we have this 65 Newton force here, which we're going to have to break up into its component vectors. So this is 65 newtons. I need to know what the x component of that force is. That looks like a bad x. And there we go. And the x component of that force is. Well, if I want to know what the x component of that force is, I'm going to have to use some trigonometry. All right? If this is 42 degrees in here, all right, the uh, trig function that's going to get me that value is going to be the cosine function, because the cosine all right, of uh, an angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, all right? So katoa, all right? So cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. If I want to know what that adjacent side is, all right, it's going to be the hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle, and that will give me my adjacent side. Well, that's the adjacent side, and that's what I'm looking for, okay? Well, the hypotenuse in this case is 65 newtons, okay? And the angle is 42 degrees, so the cosine of 42 degrees. All right. And when I plug those into my calculator, uh, what I get is 48.3 newtons. So the x component, all right, I'm going to draw this in red over here, the x component of that 65 newton force is 48.3 newtons. Okay. Are there any other forces in the horizontal direction or the x direction on our block? The answer is no. There's no friction. There's no other forces. So if I write my equation now, the sum of the forces in the x direction is going to be 48.3 newtons. Okay, and that's it. That's the only force there is. And that's going to be equal to ma. Well, m is the mass of the block. That's 40 kilograms. All right. And A is our acceleration. And when I do the math, I get 48.3 newtons divided by 40 kilograms. And that is equal to 1.2 meters per second squared. And that is the acceleration of our block in the x direction. I hope that helps. Have a great day.